delicious steak and burger buns so you can use it for breakfast for snacks for a meal however you choose this is the hamburger buns i will be using and this hamburger buns for preservation i have put it in the freezer so if you buy a lot of bread at home or hamburger and you notice that it does get spoiled before you eat it for preservation it is best you go ahead and put it in the freezer and when you need it you just bring it out if you need it in the morning bring it out like the night before if you need it in the afternoon bring it out like in the morning or the night before so i went ahead to spray this pot with butter flavored non-cooking spray so inside this one i will be slightly toasting the hamburger buns to eat up the bread so while that's on extreme low getting ready i'll go ahead and use extra virgin olive oil non-stick cooking spray for the steak and here is the steak so i'll go ahead and put the steak in the pot so as you can see our steak is I put it on medium so that it will not burn up. Go ahead and shred the bread. Go ahead to put the bread on medium as well. Slightly pink this way, it shows that it is cooked. I went ahead to lay my steak. If you are still doing more, go ahead and try to get any of the particles that is in there out if you have a bigger pot you can do more than two at a time and i don't need to spray it again as you can see i still have some non-stick spray spray in there i'm going to have to shake the bread as you can see the bread is getting roasted so i'll just go ahead and turn it to the other side so in this spot right here, I'll go ahead and start my sunny side up egg. For the sunny side of egg, I'll be using coconut oil spray. So I went ahead to switch the bread and the spots for the egg. So I'll go ahead and start up with the sunny side of egg. See, I have already put the non-stick spray in the pulse for the egg so i sprayed the pot with some coconut non-stick spray and you can also use oil for your sunny side up so for the sunny side up i will not be putting a lot of spices at all i'll just go ahead and put my spices on top of it. So I'm using garlic for that. I'm using ginger, coriander, two spices, some seasoned salt. So I'll just go ahead and try to separate. Adding more coconut oil on top of it. So I'll go ahead and turn it upside down then i spray more coconut oil on top of it so like i said it's your choice to either use spray or oil i use oil too so i don't use spray all the time as you can see our sunny side of egg is ready so i'll cover this and leave it somewhere for now as you can see, the hamburger bread is ready to bring it out. So I went ahead to bring out that bread. Once it was done, and I'm going ahead to sp spray again with our butter flavored non cooking spray because I'm putting six of bread in there. Well, 
the steak is also getting ready to it's the first extra virgin olive oil no cooking spray that i sprayed on it i have not sprayed another one in here at all As you can see, the hamburger bread is getting very well toasted. Once your steak is looking like this and like this, it's ready. But if your steak is looking like this, it's not ready yet. So this means that it still needs to be cooked more. But this means you can bring it out. You see it's a bit pinkish and, you know, a bit brown. So it means you can bring it out. But this one still needs to be cooked more bring out our steak so that is brought out as you can see but if you are doing it for yourself only you can go ahead you know with the next step but since i still have more steak to cook i'll go ahead and add more steak to the pot Additional oil because there's still oil in the pot. So I went ahead to bring it out and I will just clean this one because I still have some more set of bread to do. I go ahead and spray it with my butter spray. You can use any non stick spray of your choice. Went ahead to put some set of bread also just go ahead twist it around and put it back in the boss and put it back in your freezer freezer you don't need to return it back to the freezer except if you are needing to if not just tie your bread and put it up where you normally put your bread last set of bread is ready so we are waiting on our steak now bacteria in the meat you have to ensure that you cook your meat very well I don't eat I've done meat because it's not a very healthy thing but then again I respect the choices of those that eat it I mean it's their preference but it's a possibility that it might inhabit some bacteria in it. Our steak is well done. I'm just gonna allow it to drain some oil out. So our steak is ready and it's time to dish the food. So for the serving. I went ahead to put the bread in the plate and I'll go ahead and put zesty ranch on top of here. Anything you want to use to eat it is fine and I'll go ahead and put the eggs and now our steak on top of it. If you have tomatoes or onions, you can go ahead and put the tomatoes before the egg and the onions and then you put your egg or you put your egg and your tomatoes and then your steak and then you cover it with your bread as you can see this is ready for eating as always just put your steak in there and cover it up so you can enjoy your breakfast with anything of your choice. We are using hot chocolate. You can use Lipton tea. You can use juice. You know, anything you are comfortable with. But this breakfast this morning will be taken with hot chocolate tea. Until I bring another food idea for you to your table stay blessed stay rapturable i would like to know how your day is going please if you haven't subscribed to this channel kindly subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that anytime i post any
household idea like this for your table you'll be the first to be notified and if you have subscribed but haven't hit the notification bell please my friends and families go ahead beloved ones and hit the notification bell so that anytime i bring a wonderful meal like this to your table you will be the very first to be notified thank you so much for taking your time to watch this food idea till i see you again another time stay blessed stay rapturable and the good lord be with you i wish you all long life good health and stay healthy thank you and god bless you